Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be taste testing this protein powder. It is the one from One Up Nutrition. It is their 100% whey isolate protein and strawberry milkshake. Looks like this. So this is 896 grams. It has 25 grams of protein per scoop, 5.3 grams of BCAAs, and its net weight is two pounds. And they were having a sale recently. I got this for $34.99, I believe, and I also have a discount code with them. It's LOVEV for you. I'll put it right here. Um, for 20% off if you do decide to use it. Um, but this is one of the flavors I haven't tried yet, so I decided to pick it up. And yeah, so I'm going to give this a taste test and then I'm also going to attempt to make a three layered drink. So it's going to be strawberry on the bottom, some almond milk and matcha. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so where's the three layer drink? I hope the scoop's easy to find. You know how like sometimes the scoop's like buried at the bottom. Like I like these containers because they feel pretty sturdy, but when you get a lot of them like I do, they kind of take up a lot of space. <laughs> but I'm not complaining. They taste great. At least the flavors that I've tried so far. Okay. Oh my gosh, it even smells like a strawberry milkshake. Okay, where are you? see it, it's near the top, okay. So for my taste test, I'm just gonna put it inside of this mason jar. I'm not gonna put it in the blender bottle, but I'm just gonna add some water to it, shake it up, and see how easy it is, or how easily it dissolves without like a blender bottle or anything. And then see how it tastes to see if it's chalky or if it needs extra shaking, and yeah. So the scoop is like this, pretty normal size scoop. It smells so yummy, I'm so excited to try this. Okay, so I'm gonna put this here, and add some water. Okay, so I added eight ounces of water. Oh, it smells so good. I'm just being extra right there. But let's see. Oh, there's even like a little, like, I don't, it's a strawberry colored fleck in there. Probably can't see it. But it foamed up, foamed up a little bit and it looks like everything dissolved, like I barely shook it. Let's give it a try. Tastes so good, even with just water. Wow. Okay, and it doesn't taste chalky. I didn't shake it that much, as you can tell, and I didn't have to use a blender ball, ball or anything. Um, yeah, all I see are those off-colored flecks at the bottom, but I think that's just there for, like it's not meant to dissolve, I'm not sure. But it tastes great, even with just water. So props for creating something that dissolves so easily. Okay, that tastes amazing, but I don't want to get full. I want to make my my three layer drink right now and see how that turns out, which I think it's going to turn out great now because that tastes great by itself. So for the drink, you're going to need one large mason jar or whatever cup you want to put it in. This is a 32 ounce mason jar. Um, this one was a little 16 ounce one, I think. Yeah, this one's little compared, you know, you put them side by side. Um, and then you're going to need some frozen strawberries. This I froze myself, but you can buy, buy um, store-bought ones if you want to. Look at it. They're huge. These ones are from Costco. There we go. Frozen strawberries. 
to add a little extra flavor. Um, and then I'm going to be using this almond milk, also from Costco. If you can't tell already, I am an avid Costco shopper. Most of my fridge is from them. This is just a Kirkland almond brand one. Is it focusing? Okay, there we go. I don't know what my hand's gonna do because it basically covers my hand, but... And then... <laughs> uh, and then your favorite matcha powder, this one... I think I got this one off of Amazon. But I also have a tub from Costco now that I really enjoy. Um, but I'm just trying to finish this one up. And yeah, that's basically all you need plus ice and water. Um, but let's get to it. Okay, so first you're going to want to take off the leaves off of the strawberries and then cut them into smaller pieces so that it's easier on your blender blades. Make sure you are careful with your knife because these strawberries are frozen which will make them harder to cut and a little bit slipperier. Add your scoop of protein powder and a dash of your choice of liquid. I'm just using the leftover from the taste test earlier. And then put that in the blender and let that blend until it's a slushy consistency. You can modify this however you'd like, but I like my matcha on the stronger side. So I took about a tablespoon of that and added a little bit of water and frothed it up. Then we're going to take our jar or cup and start laying everything in. I think I probably should have done the smoothie layer before the ice to create it more of a stable foundation, but meh, it didn't happen. So I added the ice and then the strawberry mixture, the almond milk, and then the matcha. Okay, so that didn't really turn out the way that I wanted it to. Um, there's no layers or anything. It's more like a tie-dye effect. <laughs> so I'm not too sure what I'm going to call this yet, but it tastes great. I don't regret it. I'm totally going to finish this. Um, but yeah, I'll try, I'll try this again. Maybe putting the ice after the strawberry smoothie. Um, maybe that'll help get that distinguished, the, the, the distinguished lines for the layers um but yeah besides that i'm going to go enjoy this and if you guys like this please like and subscribe for more and until next time cheers